Hey everybody, my name is Kat Cosgrove and welcome to another Palumi Challenge. If you've never tried the Palumi Challenge before, these are a series of small self-contained tutorials, a little bit more in depth than what you might see on the blog or a little bit weirder than what you might see on the blog. Each one of them is trying to teach you something about a way to use Palumi, and more importantly, we give you some free stuff in the process. For this month, we're going to be going through the new Palumi architecture templates. We'll be standing up a small application on AWS API Gateway and Lambda, and the best part is that you don't actually have to write any of the code yourself. The architecture templates handle it for you. We'll also go into policy packs a little bit to learn about enforcing security or business logic rules against your gated deployments. And that's how we're gonna send you some swag. So let's get into it. I'll walk you through one. So here we go. Starting off, the first thing we need to do is create a new directory to work out of and navigate into it. There we go, quick start challenge. And then we are going to spin up a new serverless template. Just run Palumi new serverless AWS Python. You can just select all of the defaults here and it'll go ahead and install a bunch of dependencies for you. Takes just a few seconds. There we go. And we've created several files here. Let's take a look at them. In our main.py, we've got a little bit happening here. We're creating an IAM role, a Lambda function, and our API gateway. And here is the handler for our function. It's just returning the date time. And here is the little website it stands up for you. So let's actually deploy this. Run Palumi up. And you're going to see it start to create a bunch of assets for you. This is your Palumi preview. Uh, it's just a heads up about what's going to be created if you select yes. So we've selected yes. And things are starting to go. This is usually pretty quick. It does depend on what you're deploying. But in this case, it's only going to take a few seconds here. There we go. Our S3 bucket, our IAM role, the role policy, the API gateway, and here we go. And you see it's given us this little URL output that we've asked for in our code stood up by the architecture template. Let's go see what's there. And there it is, displaying the current time constantly updating but we can make this better. We can do more. These are very extensible. So let's create a policy pack, create a new directory and CD into it. And then we're going to create a new policy by just running Palumi new uh, policy for AWS Python. It is going to do the same thing again, create a bunch of files for us, install all of our dependencies for us. And our new policy pack is ready to go. So let's take a look, see what's going on in here. Several files once again. And we've got this main.py. We're going to replace this. I've copied the code over here. It's included for you on the actual page for the challenge. So you don't have to type all of this out. Don't worry about it. But this is what's submitting our swag and it's enforcing the actual content of the swag.json will create later what's in it and the uh, actual types. So let's go back up a directory and create our swag.json so you can get some free stuff. We just need to give it a little bit of information. So the policy expects a few things. Lumi challenge swag and we need a name. My name's Kat Cosgrove. We need an email address. I'll use my work email if I can type. There we go. And an address for us to send you something. 
I'm using a fake one because this is a test. And your size, uh, one of S, M, L, and XL. There we go. We also need to make sure that our requirements are updated in our actual Pulumi program. So we're going to go ahead and grab the version of Pulumi policy, and that policy also relies on the requests package. So we're going to add those. And run a Pulumi preview. Tell it we're going to be using a policy pack in the policy directory and that the config for the policy pack is swag.json. And it barfed because I forgot to install all of those dependencies. So do make sure that you install your dependencies. Let's get those installed correctly. There we go. And now it's gone, all done will get you some swag. Not bad, huh? Thanks for watching. Come back for the next one.